Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. We are going to talk about a lot of different things. We're going to talk about 401ks, social security, crypto investing. And I like to change it up on Sundays. And a lot of my videos, if you've been watching over a course of time, you will realize some of my videos are based on interactions that I had with people throughout the week. This one is no different. So let me tell you the situation first. I used my debit card to buy gas and I was a victim of a card skimmer. So I had to go into my local bank to clear it up. As I'm walking into the bank, I noticed a sign that says, wow, 10 year CD, 4.3% interest on a 10 year cd i'm thinking over the course of the next 12 to 18 months i am going to make so much more than that off of my crypto investments then i get into the bank and i see a sign that says ask us about auto renters and homeowners insurance so now the bank is getting involved in selling insurance is the liquidity problem becoming that bad so I sit down with this bank manager and she comes out and she says, I'm reviewing your account. I see these this money going out to Uphold and MEXC. What is that all about? I said, that's me buying crypto. Oh God, not crypto. You're going to end up losing everything. And then she goes on to say, you should get in, in, invested in a 401k, an IRA, a CD. And I'm trying to explain to her that I look at crypto as the future. But she didn't want to hear any of that. So I figured I would make a video around it today. So 401k retirement plans are a scam. And here is why based on my research. So I'm not gonna read through all of this, but pretty much how a 401k works, say for instance, you were to put $5 in, your company would end up putting $5 in and matching it. And you would do that week over week for a pe long period of time. But then it comes time to sell that or cash out of that 401k. And right off the top, 40% goes to the government. So now, out of that $10 a week, you end up with $6. So that's why I never liked 401k plans. Plus, a lot of times it's tied to the stock market. So if the stock market is tanking out, all of a sudden you're losing even more money. That's why I always looked at it as a scam, and that's just my personal opinion. Then there's Social Security. So Social Security recipients to receive 3.2% cost of living allocation increase in 2024. How many of you honestly believe that Social Security is going to be there by the time you're ready to retire? Because I don't think it's going to be there. Plus, I see how people have to live on Social Security. They should be giving people way more than that. You know, I go to a grocery store. Sometimes there's elderly people in front of me and they're buying groceries and they come up short. So I end up covering it. It's sure it's 10, 15, 20 bucks, whatever. At least I know they're gonna eat today. And that should not be happening. These people work their whole lives to pay into a system that gives them nothing back. And I wanna break away from that situation. I never wanna be put in that situation. That's why I see crypto as an alternative. So crypto market cycle, 2022 winter, 2023 spring, 2024 summer, 2025 heat wave. Be ready, don't sell, instead keep adding to your bags. Then you can retire in the next 18 to 24 months. And crypto has the ability to do that for you. Imagine you get into crypto and especially new investors right now, they're not going to be tying up their money for a long period of time because the next run is coming. I think the next 12 to 18 months is going to be absolutely incredible inside of crypto. Plus, the gains that you're going to get in the next 18 to 24 months are going to be way more than what any traditional bank will ever offer you. So, but if you're thinking about investing into crypto, you got to come in with a plan. You know, you don't want to be over investing. People make that mistake way too often. I'm going to put my whole check into XRP. Then all of a sudden they got to pay bills. They got to buy groceries. 
Now they're selling at a loss to have money the following week. Then they do the same thing. And week after week, that happens. Just put in whatever you could afford to lose. Sit back and stay patient. Understanding the risk. Now, I look at crypto as being very risky a couple years ago. Today, a lot of that risk has gone away with utility and use case. If you invest in utility-driven cryptocurrencies that are going to be part of the new financial system, and oh yes, that new financial system is definitely coming, I look at it as a very safe investment. Be tax efficient from the start. Now, if you do plan to sell off some of your crypto, here in the United States, you have to pay capital gains. But thanks to Gary Gensler, if you've been holding XRP during this entire lawsuit, you're a now longtime investor. Your capital gains is only 20%. Thank Gary Gensler for that. Diversify. I always tell you in almost every video I ever do around crypto, always always diversify don't put all your eggs in one basket i always see people saying all i'm ever buying is xrp and nothing else but if you buy xlm xdc algo iota all of a sudden you might have better passive income options in the future you may never have to sell any of your crypto don't chase tips do you know how many videos there are out there where people are saying Get into this cryptocurrency right now, and by the end of the month, you're going to make massive gains. You're going to easily get 100x, way overhyped. I always tell people, do your own research. Know what you're investing in, and after you invest, know what you're holding. Because if you're holding something like XRP and XLM, you're going to see over the course of the next couple months, we're going to see a major run-up. But then they might continue to run up based on utility and use case. Invest. Don't speculate. And there, there's a lot of speculation around crypto. Even when I make videos around XRP or other cryptocurrencies, I always tell you when I'm speculating. Because I want to sp separate speculation from fact. This way you know when XRP might run up. You know how high the price could possibly get based off of the facts and real world events as well. Invest regularly. When you have a plan, say for instance, you're going to put $20 a week into crypto, stick to that plan. Maybe you don't go out this weekend with your friends. Maybe you don't go to the movies this week. You will thank yourself later because when crypto runs up, you will have all the money to go do all those things later. Reinvest. Now, a lot of people always say, I'm going to cash out a crypto. But then they never talk about putting money back in the crypto. I always think if you're going to cash out, have some money on the sidelines. This way, if crypto dips, you could buy even more in the future. The vast majority of people who run up a bag in crypto burn through all of it shortly after. That's the worst thing you can do. Most people invest in crypto because they want financial freedom. They want to have the time to do all the things they ever thought of doing. But then they always talk about buying a Lambo, buying a mansion. But people don't realize they come with expenses. You know, the routine maintenance on a Lambo is 10 grand a year. Think of the routine maintenance on a mansion, plus the monthly utility bills, plus the property taxes. You know, people cash out. You always have to have a plan if you're going to retire off of crypto. You know, you can't just go out and buy all the things you ever wanted and expect the money to last forever, is what I'm saying. Your 9 to 5 plus crypto equals freedom. Use your 9 to 5 to invest in crypto. 50 hours research before spending $1. Passive income, DeFi, mining, staking. Don't invest what you need to pay bills. Practice patience. Use your job. Don't let your job use you. That was one of the best posts I have seen in a while. Because, you know, we do use our 9 to 5 to invest into crypto. Remember how hard you worked for that money that you're investing. Because you don't, you want to make sure your investment is secure. 
that's why I always tell you, don't chase meme coins. Don't chase hype. Don't chase speculation. Invest in something that's going to give you high returns. All of us invested in the crypto because we want to quit our 9 to 5 jobs. But again, have a plan if you plan on quitting. And once you get into crypto, you have to have patience. And I'm probably one of the most patient people you will ever meet. And that's because for five years, I've been holding XRP. Along the way, there's been some rough times, especially 2020 when the lawsuits started. I thought to myself, wow, this is going to take forever. And sure enough, it did. To over two years of holding XRP waiting for the judge to make that decision, now waiting for the Ripple SEC case to finally come to a complete end, and waiting for XRP to take off, set a new all-time high. You will learn patience along the way. If you think crypto is a get-rich-quick scheme, then crypto is not for you. But, you know, it, when, as we stay patient, you also got to stay positive. Learn every single day around your crypto. See the announcements happening. And it's not just XRP. I'm talking about XLM, XDC, HBAR, IOTA, ALGO, CASPER, QNT. Learn what's going on, how they're building out and growing as well. Are they well-rounded cryptocurrencies? What are they tied to? What projects are building out? That's what's great about crypto. Once you get into it, you start to learn about it. You start to realize you're holding the technology of the future. Stay patient. Stay positive. Let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.